What's up guys, it's Jacob again here, your very own personal rank on healer, and today I'll be going over how to purge your way through the ladder as a resto shaman, a priest, or any spec with spammable purge. Uh, this video was requested by one of my earliest Patreon supporters and brought to you in the same exact day. I haven't talked about this before, but I think it's worth shouting it out every once in a while. Um, a way that you guys can support this channel uh, on YouTube and Twitch big time. Um, you could go to Patreon if you're interested. There is a link below. Um, you can subscribe with different tiers, uh, and there will be different benefits that you can get through these subscriptions, such as uh, some examples would include personal advice from me through Discord, VOD review of your own gameplay that you can send to me, and uh, I'll talk to you in Discord through it and uh, help you to work on a few things that you can focus on maybe. And then also you'll have the ability to suggest videos and types of content in general for me to put out for you guys, just like this video that I'm about to do. So uh, anyway, without further ado, um, here's the page. Uh, the link will be below. But uh, anyways, let's just jump right into this. I'm going to start talking about how to purge, and um, this is going to be done through my Resto Shaman in some high-rated twos games, playing with uh, my Feral Druid partner, my friend Kyle. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to be using this Electrocute uh, PvP talent, which is very strong versus Resto Druids and versus Disc Priests, um, especially if you're just going to be trying to run people down. Um, and another thing to focus on, um, the rest of the talents are pretty standard, you can check them out here, but I'm just going to let the video start rolling while I explain. So I do personally use uh, target arena enemy 1, 2, and 3 macros to purge this control R, control F, control D. So that way I never have to actually target any, anyone to purge. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't have the keybinds. Uh, you probably should although have a focus macro to be able to do it with. Um, focus macros are huge uh, to purge with. Um, so that way you can keep healing your target or doing whatever you're doing without having to switch targets all the time and still get the purges quickly. Um, but anyway, I use the 1, 2, 3 macros just because I can. I have the MMO, MMO mouse that helps out. Um, but anyway, so uh, what you're going to be wanting to purge a lot or the, uh, in this particular matchup versus Resto Druids is going to be uh, his Hots, for one, his heals, and then his Thorns um, that he can put on the Hunter to mitigate my Druid's da uh, melee damage. So um, they will be coming out of stealth here finally. I'm just going to root him up instantly, uh, cast the Lava Burst, he feigned deaths before my Feral gets any bleeds on him, which is really good for us. Uh, my Feral disorients the Druid, um, I end up getting trapped here in the opener though. The Druid might Cyclone me off of this, I can't really do much, but uh, he times it badly so I'm able to get the Wind Shear. Just going to get a couple heals out, I ground this next clone, although my Feral probably kicks it as well. Um, I Fleshcraft this next one. I could have probably lined it, but I used my Fleshcraft ability seeing that I wasn't close enough to the box and I just immuned it. Um, just getting as much Lava Burst damage as possible uh, with my Flame Shock on the Hunter. He tries to get a Freezing Trap on me, but my Feral Stampeding roared me and made me get run fast, which I don't think their Hunter expected, so I was able to juke the trap. But uh, anyways, we'll start getting into Purge territory really soon, as soon as we're able to start lining up some pressure. Um, they do not have Freezing Trap for me. I'm on Cyclone DR. I can start doing some damage. As you can see, my Electrocute buff over his head. I'm purging. You can see my True Fiji CD at the bottom. See my globals that I'm pressing in the bottom right. Um, I have the Hunter on my focus, so that way I can see what buffs he has. As you can see here, uh, I can see if he has heals that I want to purge. So I usually am switching my focus to whatever target that I'm going to purge, and I do that by either right-clicking on their Gladius frame, or I do it with my keybinds that I do have um, to do it as well. Uh, so I do get bashed into a clone here. I have Trinket available, but my Feral is okay in this situation. The Hunter is stunned up, and he, my Feral does have self-heals. Uh, but anyways, I just root the Hunter here. Not really any big purpose to it, but uh, why not, I guess? So um, here we're going to start getting into some purge territory once again now that we're topped up. There's no trap for me. I'm just getting some lava bursts in, cleaning this hunter's hots off to get as much pressure as possible while the druid's restealthing and trying to get pressure on us. Uh, he just wild overgrowth the hunter, put a bunch of hots up on the hunter. The hunter feigned death, so I lost my focus on him. That was right here. Right now I'm just concerned about my feral's health, um, so I'm just trying to keep him up 
but I probably will be resetting my focus soon, seeing uh, what hots this hunter has on him so that I can start purging him. There the hunter throws a cheeky trap at me. I should have grounded it, but I didn't. Could have um, definitely grounded it or maybe even flesh crafted it. Uh, but either way, unlucky there or just slow on my part. But I do have my focus on the healer, um, just getting a cap totem on them. Just casting Hex to mess with them doesn't really do anything. I can pop Ascendance out of this. I see that the Hunter has Thorns on himself right now, just by looking at his character. Uh, and I can see the debuff on my Feral whenever he melees into it. But the Thorns ends before I'm able to purge it, so um, not really a big purge spot right there. Uh, the Hunter does not have Freezing Trap for me, so I'm not too worried about it. We're just going to be running at him, um, getting my Flame Shocks up. Uh, casting a lava burst, my feral eats the freezing trap there, um, just by accidentally running over on top of me. I'm just casting lava burst to spread pressure as much as I can, make the druid's life kind of miserable. Reset my focus on the hunter, start purging him, cleaning his hots off, as you can see. Then we get the iron bark on him, so I'm instantly just switching my pressure to the druid. I win shear his regrowth, get a lava burst, try to get another lava burst, but he line of sights. Um, I still have the hunter on focus, I'm still watching his buffs. He does have some hots here. Um, the druid does have innervate up, so I'm going to push in to purge that off. I get it off, which is a really big thing that you want to try to purge off is innervate. So um, basically where I'm seeing whenever they pop these cooldowns like innervate and thorns and things like that, I either see it on uh, stuff on debuffs here on my focus. I see them press it on uh, my omnibar right here. So you can actually set the things that you want to purge two omnibar so that way when they cast it you just have one more way of seeing it here i also saw it on my gladius right here a second ago before it was purged so there's just different ways of seeing these buffs and um but yeah anyway so right here i tried to flush craft this freezing trap but he kicks me um i'm just getting cc'd gonna probably get some flame shocks out as soon as i get out my feral clones up there druid uh we're just gonna start pressuring the hunter some more I'm using my Aura Master to top my Druid up, get my Flame Shock on the Hunter, I'm looking at his buffs, he has some heals here. Um, we're also pressuring the rest of the Druid, it looks like, really hard, so I'm just purging him, switch my focus to him to see what I'm purging. We get the Bark Skin, I'm just purging all of his Hots off, I'm going to try to get some Lava Burst in whenever I can. Uh, we got Thorns on the Healer, I'm definitely trying to purge that off so that my Feral can stay offensive. Um, just running him down, pressing purge over and over again. I'm just getting hots, which isn't bad. Um, getting hots before thorns, but uh, that's okay. We're getting the hots anyway. He's totally clean. This druid's life is miserable. I can assure you from the druid's perspective, whenever you're getting spam purged and trained, it's really, really tough to stay alive. So right here, uh, I ground the freezing trap uh, just to keep going, keep pushing. He fakes my wind shear on the regrowth, but my druid kicks him. I'm just purging his hots off some more. Uh, whenever I get the chance, see the electrocute buff over the druid's head, um, which actually does a little bit of extra damage with my purges. We force iron bark on the healer. I'm just going to be doing some damage to this hunter. He feigned deaths my dots off. Uh, we're still just trying to stay kind of offensive. The hunter does have freezing trap rolling back up. I do have grounding totem at the ready, uh, maybe to try to get it. My druid clones their hunter up, but the druid cannot re-stealth. Because my Ellie is on him, keeping him in combat, and he does have that Flame Shock. But anyway, I'm just shooting in my Lava Burst, purging his Hots off, running him down with my Feral Druid. I shift forms and kick the Scare Beast. I shouldn't have kicked the Scare Beast. I should have held my kick and just shifted. But anyways, I just Trinket that to spam Purge. I see the Thorns on the Druid right here and on his body. Um, he has Battle Masters up, as you can see. I'm just spamming Purge, trying to keep my damage in. Try not to let him get any heals off, making his life extremely impossible, and eventually he falls. So um, a lot of the times, you'll start purging um, the second half of the game uh, after you stabilize your team and dampening kicks in a little bit, and um, you kind of figure out that the strat could be to maybe train the druid. You could even be hitting the hunter and purging him as well, or depending on what comp you're playing, what comp they're playing. You can still purge DPS. It doesn't have to be the rest of the druid. Um, but anyways, that's just one game to show you how purge can be insane. And I'm going to show you two more games right after this uh, to show you how to purge versus paladins, which are extremely prominent on the ladder, and how to purge mages. So let's get into that. 
All right, guys, so these are my talents for this next game versus the Fire Mage Holy Paladin. Um, I'll be playing Sky Fury Totem, as you can see, or Mastery Grounding. The reason I'm playing Sky Fury is because I don't need uh, my Spectral Wolf um, Spectral Recovery for uh, Frost Mage or Fire Mage. I just don't really need the extra Ghost Form stuff, so I'm just going to be playing Sky Fury for extra damage and uh, bigger heals, maybe. But uh, anyway, the rest of the talents are pretty solid uh, regular stuff. So I'm just going to let it tick down as I explain uh, how we're going to purge here. So whenever a fire mage pops can bust, one of the best things you can do as a shaman is try to purge it off. Sometimes you'll have to drop a grounding totem instantly when they combust just to eat the initial pyroblasts to give yourself a global or two to purge the mage and try to uh, get the combustion off of him, which is huge. It's his biggest offensive cooldown, and you have the ability to purge it off and make it completely useless. Also, versus the Holy Paladin, you'll be looking for the Divine Favor, which gives him the free heal that can't be kicked and makes his heal bigger. You'll be looking for that buff uh, to be able to purge off and I'll show you how I do that in this game. But uh, anyway, uh, we're going to be getting our Flame Shock up on the target. My Feral does kick the Polymorph there. Uh, I'm casting Lava Burst. My Feral clones up the healer. So the Mage has a lot of shields here. This is another thing you need to pay attention to. Notice he has Alter Time. He has this Arcane Intellect or whatever that um, bonus Intellect buff is. He has a lot of shields, all these shields. You can be spamming Purge on all of this stuff. If you get his Alter Time and a shield or two, then uh, your Feral can uh, definitely stay a lot more offensive. Unfortunately here, the Druid jumps down. Uh, or the, Sorry, the, the Mage jumps down out of my line, so I wasn't able to spam Purge him there. Now I'm just dropping off to avoid some CC. Uh, as you can see, I'm Flesh Crafting to try to get the Paladin's Hodge out of the way. He can't Hodge me right now. I just spell my Feral out of the Ring of Frost. Um... My Feral clones up the mage for a second just to maybe switch pressure and switch the clone over to the healer. Looks like it gets line of sighted. Um, I do have wind shear for the polymorphs that are incoming. I'm trying to purge the mage's shields off as you can see on my Trufy GCD at the bottom. Um, I was just moving the shields out of the way for my Feral and then blasting him with Lava Burst when he has no shield available. The mage pops can bust there. I drop my grounding totem. I press ascendance to try to get a heal on my guy. I purge the combust off I believe. Uh, or actually, I didn't uh, get it in that go because of all the commotion with the jumping and everything, trying to get to my feral. But uh, anyways, I should have tried to if it was in the cards. But um, as you notice, my focus is on the mage. He has all the shields up. I'm just purging him off one by one. Each one of those purges is worth however much damage those shields are able to hold. So here I see the altar time on the mage right here. Um, the mage used it before I was going down to purge it. So uh, he just comes back up to the top. Uh, we do get a bash onto the healer here. I'm just pressuring him. I kick this polymorph. As you can see, I see the paladin. There's all these different ways of seeing that he has his divine favor heal coming. He's in the middle of it right now. Uh, so my Omni Bar tracks it, so I see it there, I see it on his Gladius, I'm not focusing him currently so I don't see it there, but I also see his Aura Mastery, like the fact that I can't kick him, so these are three ways to see the Divine Favor, um, but uh, anyways, I don't know why it skipped there, let me go back real quick, <laughs> sorry, um, anyway, so the Mage altered back up here, I believe, and then here comes the Bash on the Paladin, he goes for the Divine Favor heal. I'm pressing Purge, trying to get it off. And uh, he still has it up. My Druid incapped him and stopped him from getting it. But uh, anyways, I purged it off, so he doesn't have the bonus heal anymore. But I wasn't able to get a kick on him because I was CC'd. So I purged the Divine Favor. Um, a lot of the time, you'll just be able to press Purge Kick within a half second of each other. And you'll just get it off and kick him instantly. But uh, here, I'm just trying to keep my Lava Burst damage on the Mage. Keep my Flame Shock up, getting my crits. A big lava burst. Um, maybe I purge these shields off the mage that I see right here, uh, or I'm just probably trying to mess with this paladin. As you see, I rooted him out of line of the mage. If I hexed him first and then rooted him, the uh, he would have been stuck out of line of the mage and CC'd. But uh, because I rooted him and then hexed him, he was able to dispel himself and then move into the mage's line to where he could get dispelled from the hex. Keep my flame shocks up. I'm um, just watching their buffs, I'm dispelling poly, 
Uh, he gets repolyed there. My druid was out, probably trying to cyclone, so he just got sheeped. But I get a double lava burst. Uh, then I shear the poly there. Uh, this mage is in a lot of trouble. I'm frost shocking him to just mess up his mobility, make him a little bit slower, do some extra damage. Um, this mage does have combust at the ready, so uh, might get ready to combust or purge the combust here in a second. Just line of sighting these polys, spamming wind shear in case he ports around the corner with the poly. Um, we get the full clone onto the paladin. Uh, still have some good damage on this mage. He altered times. I see it on his buffs right here. I actually purge it off so that way he can't come back to the top and he doesn't get health. Uh, and I'm just pumping him. He has the block at 5,000 health because we purged the altered time and we got the lava burst damage in. I just hex the healer while the mage is in the ice block so that way he can't dispel the um, hex because he's in the block. He doesn't want to come out and die. Uh, and anyways, we get combust here. I drop the grounding, try to eat a pyroblast. I purge the mage's combust off, I'm spamming purge. As you can see at the bottom, three purges later, I get the combust off. Uh, we're in the clear. The mage isn't doing big damage anymore. Uh, he has his shields up, so I can try to purge those if my feral's healthy enough and I'm not scared of him dying. Uh, I do drop a cap totem off of the cyclone. Um, I cast Hex just to mess with him, and I shoot a Lava Burst to try to get the kill. We do kill him. We get this, um, as you can see, we got the seed, and he bopped the seed, but I purged the seed bop off instantly to help my Feral kill it. Um, so you do have to have a regular purge uh, ability that is, is outside of your Focus Purge, or your Purge, purge 1, 2, 3, to be able to purge things straight up, just like that uh, seed that you're targeting. Anyways, I ground that polymorph, I'm line of sighting, playing the pillar. The pally doesn't have his divine favor up for 12 seconds, as you see on my uh, omnibar, 8 seconds now. I'm just getting my free lava burst. Um, I'm purging the mage's intellect buff off as much as possible, just to make him do less damage and give him less cover for all of his other buffs that I'm going to want to purge later. Uh, so if he doesn't notice, then I can just... Uh, keep his intellect buff off the whole game pretty much. Right there, I wind sheared the poly, but then he casted another one and blinked in for it. I should have been farther back and avoided it, um, but it's okay. It turns out fine. I drop an earthen here because I know the CC is coming and we're all stacking in this area. It's going to be the battleground for the next coming moments. Uh, anyways, they hodge my feral. I don't have a dispel for him. Um, but I am watching this mage's polycast. I'm purging his uh, shields maybe. He does have new shields available. I throw one in there, throwing some more purges in, uh, as you can see at the bottom once again. So we got the divine favor off instantly. You might not have seen that, but the paladin used his divine favor. And because I have these macros, I don't have to sh uh, change my focuses. I'm instantly just pressing my uh, arena two purge. I just got his divine favor off instantly. Um, and all of this works exactly the same on Priest, by the way. All these purges, you can do the exact same thing on Holy Priest, this Priest. You can do it on Enhancement Shaman, Ellie Shaman. You can do it on anything that's spammable with Purge. Um, or has a spammable Purge. Anyway, we get the Sack from the Paladin out of the way. We get a lot of buffs on the Mage. I'm just going to throw some Purges in, try to get the Shields and the Freedom. Um, I overlapped my grounding with my Feral's Kick there, which isn't good. The mage can probably poly me, but I end up jumping down to avoid that polymorph in line of sight. Uh, I dispel my Feral out of his Hodge. Combust is going. I drop, or I don't have grounding to drop, but I did purge the mage's Combust off right there, if you want to check the replay. Um, I got it off really quick, just to make him do way less damage. Um, here, I pre-link this polymorph on myself, just because I, I don't need to wind shear it, because I need the Spirit Link anyway. But if I shove the Spirit Link, then it not only breaks the poly and gets me on DR, but it also does the Spirit Link and saves us. Um, so it's just better than pressing your Wind Shear there, just drop the Link instead. Um, anyways, I tried. I kicked uh, something there, I think it might have been Ring. Uh, or no, I didn't actually kick the Ring. I must have accidentally kicked the Mage on something else there. But uh, anyway, we get the double stun set up on him. Uh, on the mage and the healer. We get divine favor on the paladin. I saw it on the gladius and on my omnibar. I purged it off and then I wind sheared the paladin, which allows us to get the kill once again right here. So purge is definitely huge. You want to learn how to do this. Uh, the second you start doing this, you'll just be winning so many more games. Like purging the mage shields off, purging the divine favor, purging the altered times. It just makes you win the game. If you're basically 
more offensively useful than a DPS character at a lot of times. Um, and this is 2300 plus twos, not the craziest rating, not the lowest rating ever, but just showing you guys that the majority of you could be doing this in your games. Um, you just have to set up keybinds and macros and uh, or just be a god at targeting and noticing things, um, but you want to work on this. So anyways, I'll show you guys one more game. Uh, it's going to be versus Holy Paladin um, Affliction Warlock, I believe. And you can actually purge the Affliction Warlock's Dark Soul off. So uh, I'm going to show you guys one more game against the Holy Paladin and then a new game versus the Affliction Lock. Okay, so uh, this game, like I said before, Affliction Lock, Holy Paladin. Uh, I'm going to be playing these talents. Since they do not have a hex to spell, I can play Short Hex, I believe. Uh, try to get as much CC on the healer or the lock as I can. Uh, it's going to be able to sit. Um, but the rest of the talents are pretty standard, so I'm just going to let it roll down again. Uh, the big things you want to purge again are Divine Favor. And an another thing I want to show you guys is um, Dark Soul. You can purge the Affliction Warlock's biggest damage cooldown off that he has, uh, just like the Mage Combust. Except for with the way that it works with the Warlock is that his cooldown lasts way longer than combust but doesn't have as much initial burst so you actually have so much time to get it off like this is one of the easier cooldowns to be able to purge off um also i'm just going to deliver some resto shaman commentary uh just for the sake of it but uh, anyway we'll be targeting this uh, affliction warlock i'll be looking for hex angles on this paladin he knows that i'm looking for it he's hiding behind that uh tomb over there uh, I can't really try to get it. I use my Spirit Walker's Grace uh, to try to run at him and run around the pillar with Hex and get it on him. But he seems to be really, really um, set on not getting Hex, so he's just running around the pillar. I root him, we get his freedom there. He's just CCing himself that whole time while my Feral's bursting on the lock. He's just trying to avoid my Hex, but uh, we end up forcing Sack because of it. Uh, I one sheared the uh, Unstable Affliction there. I uh, just got my focus on the Warlock. I tried to dispel the Hodge off my Feral, but he's just out of my line of sight, so I'm unable to do it. I, I definitely need to be getting my Flame Shocks up here. I want to Flame Shock the Lock. I want to Wind Shear his Unstable Afflictions as much as possible. And I want to try to Purge Kick the Healer on his Divine Favors. But uh, anyways, we're just getting our Lava Bursts in. Just uh, trying to be efficient with our heals. Um, it looks like I do not have Mana Shield up right now. The Paladin used his Divine Favor there, but he was out of my line of sight. I was unable to uh, purge it off, but I'm just reapplying my Flame Shock to the lock. I want to get my Lava Burst procs. I don't have a Dispel for my Feral's Hodge there. I drop a Grounding Totem, thinking that maybe the lock was going to coil me or something, but uh, in retrospect, I see that the coil was on cooldown, so I wasted my Grounding Totem there. Um, I drop a Capstone on the Paladin in case he decided to Trinket that clone. Uh, but I'm still able to cast the Hex uh, off of the Cyclone, which we force the Trinket with anyway. The Warlock uses his wall there, uh, so we're just going to be playing it a little bit safe. We're just line of sighting while we can't kick him. As you can see, the Lock uses his Dark Soul. I'm very ready to purge it off to where he does no damage, but he is just not really pushing on top of us trying to utilize it well enough, so I don't really have to purge it off. We're just line of sighting. I'm pressing Purge in case he comes into my line. I even tried to jump and Purge there. But anyway, he just line of sighted his entire cooldown and didn't do anything with it. So um, that's totally fine. I do purge the next Dark Soul off, spoiler alert. But uh, anyway, I get my Flame Shock up on the Warlock. I get a Hex on the Healer with my Spirit Walker's Grace, just moving around, casting free Lava Burst on this lock with my Spirit Walker's Grace. Uh, just reapplying Earth Shield on my Feral, keeping him alive. Uh, we're definitely looking all right. I still have plenty of cooldowns. Um, we're just kind of destroying this affliction lock. I get a flame shock on the um, lock again, getting some more lava burst soon. You always want to be able to get these procs for the extra damage because they do they do crank really good, really good damage. I'm trying to get a hex on this paladin. He's just playing the pillar on me, I'm just kind of omega chasing him. I sheared the warlock there on his cast. My druid's able to get a cyclone on the healer. He does pre-sack it, so my Feral switches the Cyclone over to the Warlock because the Warlock's unable to take any damage. So uh, it's a good clone on the Warlock, uh, mitigating his damage while keeping him at a certain amount of health. Uh, there, I tried purging his big heal. Um, I'm not sure if I got it, but uh, as you can see, I was trying to purge the Divine Favor off a second ago. I saw it on the Gladius and on my Omnibar. Um, but anyways... 
Just staying offensive on this Warlock. He's porting away. I get a free Hex on the Paladin here. Um, we're both kind of low, so I guess my Feral is just getting some heals out on himself for a second. Uh, we get the free Cyclone off of my Hex on the Paladin because the Warlock was line of sighting. He was unable to stop the Cyclone. I get a half Hex off of that Cyclone just to keep the CC rolling. Um, just watching this Warlock, I have Wind Shear available. I kick his Unstable Affliction. Uh, he... Mortal Coils, my Feral Druid, but I just fell him instantly before the Warlock gets the Unstable Affliction off on him, which would have silenced me and done a ton of damage. Um, I just drop a Capstone in the middle. Not really a big reason for that, but um, they're all running into the area, so I might as well. But uh, anyway, my Druid gets the Cyclone on the healer. Uh, I'm just I Right here, I see that the Warlock has Bop. He has Bop here. I see it on his character. I see it right here on his Gladius. I know that the most important thing for me to do is to purge this pop, but I already have my aura mastery up for a second, so I will be getting the hex on the pally, and then my next global, as you can see down here, is purge. I get the bop off, get the full hex on the healer. He has no bop, then the healer CC'd. We can just do a lot of pressure here, um, just trying to keep my team alive at the same time. We end up forcing the wall from the warlock and the divine favor from the paladin, which I couldn't purge because of line of sight. Um, but anyway, there's another Dark Soul um, used by the Warlock. Uh, we were just kind of line of sighting on it, not using the Purge on it, just getting behind the pillar uh, to top anyway. But uh, we do have a Hex DR in this Paladin that we'll be trying to use here. Uh, he sacks the lock, so I'm unable to get a Hex, or else the Hex would break. So I just Hex the Warlock, hoping that my Feral can maybe swap to the Healer with the Sack stopping damage on the lock, which would... Make it to where the hex would not break from damage, from bleeds from my feral. But uh, anyway, just topping myself up. Uh, just healing. I drop a grounding totem, thinking that they might have CC for me, which they don't. They don't have Hodge or Mortal Cup Coil up, so it was pretty bad on me to ground there and try to get a CC. And the Fleshcraft was unneeded as well. But I do have Hex. I have Flame Shock on this Warlock. I'm going to try to get a Hex on this Paladin. I feel like... I just trinket this Hodge because they do have pressure on us. I wind shear that unstable affliction to stop him from getting some damage. My Feral gets a Cyclone on the Paladin. He stuns the lock, which means I'm able to get a Hex onto the Paladin. I can dispel this Bop. I dispel it with my Purge. We're staying offensive. The healer's forced to bubble because of the pressure that we have here. I'm just staying offensive despite my team's health because I know I have Ascendance here. I press my Ascendance. I kick the unstable affliction. We're topped off. Um, we're still very much in the role of uh, doing damage and uh, just keeping the pressure rolling. Um, I try to ground some fear action there. Could have just pre-trimmered it and saved my grounding totem. I root the paladin and try to hex him, but he does ha uh, hammer of just me justice me and stop me from hexing him. We get Dark Soul from this Warlock here. I purged it off instantly. He has no damage cooldown available there. Uh, no pressure to counter pressure with. I purge the Divine Favor off the healer. And uh, the lock just dies anyway in that same moment. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, guys, learn how to purge. Uh, that stuff is definitely insanely good. That one button is so, so important on any class that has a spammable purge. Even for hunters, if you have that one purge with Trank Shot, you're going to want to learn how to use it properly. You can get Combust. You can get uh, Dark Souls from the Warlocks. You can get Divine Favors, you can get Shields off Mages, you can get Altered Times off. Um, you can get all kinds of stuff uh, with Purge. The list goes on. You can get Bop um, from the Paladins so that your melee can keep doing damage. But uh, yeah, if this video helped you guys, then once again, um, please, if you feel like supporting the channel uh, and or maybe getting some of the benefits from the Patreon tiers that you can get, such as VOD review or just advice in general, or wanting to suggest different videos that you might want me to make, then um, please go check out the link below um, and hit it up. But uh, anyways, if you're just following or subscribed on YouTube, that's plenty. If you want to go to my stream, come see me play games live, say hi, ask any questions there for free. Uh, you can see me there at Twitch. I'll leave that link below as well. But uh, anyways, once again, I hope this helps some of you guys. Um, I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are. I uh, love you all. Take it easy and peace.